two opportunities to, to to really change the season. Right now, we could be sitting six and four if we could have finished out the last two games. But but the reality of it is we're four and six, and so now the the more important pressing issue is a very tough road trip to Appalachian State this weekend against a very good football team that um, has played awfully well this year. They're very, very good defensively, and we'll have to we'll have to uh, have a great plan for these guys this week. We've got to play four quarters and. That's head coach of the Raging Cajuns football team, Mark Hutspeth, at his Monday press conference following the Cajuns' 37-34 loss to New Mexico State on Saturday. Hutspeth and his players don't believe it's a lack of effort, but a lack of execution. Kind of the same thing with chemistry and uh, kind of our guys, some of the wrong guys in, in the game. and some, Sometimes we just can't get off the field on third downs. I feel like we're one of the best teams on first and second, and then when on third down comes... I don't know what I don't know what what goes on, but we have to find a way to uh, get off the field. You know, that's probably been one of the biggest issues uh, of the year. I think that's a great statement by them. Talking about chemistry, you know, effort's been there. Um, you know, we've mentioned injuries. That's documented. But the chemistry part, when you have injuries and you're you're piecemealing a, an offense together, a defense, you're moving guys position to position each week, it's hard to develop a little bit of chemistry where you just learn to fit and learn to work together. Just like Javante going to safety all of a sudden last week after playing corner all year. And you're, you're having a, a new chemistry with the other safeties and it just didn't it just didn't didn't work. And although the team is four and six right now with two games left to go, they still are shooting for some postseason play. Well I mean we're we're at a time in this season where we're fight or flight now. It's it's either win or you're, you're you're done in December, and that's what none of us want. None of us uh, that I, I think we're all recruits now that have been part of bowl games, and we we, we haven't been a part of uh, not being in a bowl in December. So I think that's going to be one of those key things that we're talking about because uh, we got to win these next two games to be bowl eligible. So I think that's more so what we're uh, going into it feeling like rather than being an underdog. I think we're just trying to keep our uh, playoff or our bowl hopes alive. Cajuns will have their work cut out for them this weekend when they take on App State, the number one ranked offensive and defensive team in the conference. Not only will it be tough on the field, it may be tough just getting to the field. I don't know if you can get there from here. You know, it's that's the thing that's difficult. You know, we got to fly. Uh, then we got to get about an hour and a half bus ride to the hotel. Then the day of the game, I think we got a 30-minute bus ride. Uh, to the stadium, so it is not uh, obviously like you just fly and land here and you're two minutes from the hotel. It is a challenge to get there, obviously, and the weather is going to be a challenge too. Um, boy, it's it's going to be probably pretty cold. Last year, I think about this time we watched them play Georgia State because uh, we were preparing to play Georgia State, and uh, they had just got through playing Georgia State, and I think it's about this time of year. And it was snowing sideways, and Georgia State was a passing team trying to throw it every down, and and uh, it was the field was you know about two inches deep in snow, so that's going to be a challenge. Don't know if it's you know expecting snow or not, maybe some flurries, but it'll be pretty cool. Luckily, we've got cold weather here this week, um, so we'll, we'll, we're definitely going to get out there and uh, hopefully get try to get as used to the cold weather as we possibly can in a few days. But I'm glad it's gotten cold here this week for that reason. Stay tuned to 1037 The Game and 1037thegame.com for all of your 2015 Raging Cajuns football coverage. I'm Dave Schultz.